Hello and welcome to our trip to see the Grand Canyon across the Southwest USA back in April 2014. We started our trip in New Orleans. Now New Orleans is a great town and you can spend a lot of time there, food, and music, uh, and we spent uh, some time in a piano bar and had a great meal, but that was not the focus of our trip. Amtrak train station uh, in New Orleans is the beginning of the line for the Sunset Limited. And we needed to get to southwest, middle of the country, and we thought taking the Amtrak train, which is about 36 hours, would be a great way to start our trip. Now, if you're going to spend 36 hours on a train, you're going to want to book a room or a roomette. And doing that will give you uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You'll have a porter that help you turn your bed down at night. Remember, you'll spending, be spending the, the night on the train. You'll be enjoying first-class accommodations. This will give you an observation car, a dining car. There is also a separate car for restrooms and showers located behind you on the train. Well, and all of these pictures that you're seeing now are just taken out the window of either our roomette or the observation car. So we've been through Louisiana at this point. Right now we're stopped outside of Houston, Texas for some track switching or something else. CSX actually owns the tracks in this area. So they have priority. The priority is moving the freight. And uh, this is something that Amtrak is still trying to deal with, uh, the causing uh, passenger delays. <music> Several times through the trip, uh, the train will make a scheduled stop to let uh, train personnel get on and off, uh, load or unload passengers. Right now we're in Alpine, Texas. Um, these are pretty short stops, maybe 15 minutes, and then you're on your way again. Now remember, this is an overnight train. When we woke up, we were still in Texas. We arrive in Tucson, Arizona in the late afternoon. On arrival at the Tucson train station, we check into the Congress Hotel, which is just right across the street. The Congress Hotel was built in 1919. It has air conditioning. It has no television. It has vintage radios. It, it's really quite unique. We were very comfortable there. We spent the night uh, playing trivia at the outdoor cafe uh, right there at the hotel. In the morning, we picked up a rental car to head to the
whether it what's supposed to happen you guys in Arizona in the winter is Flagstaff gets the snow it's supposed to most we're supposed to get snowpack and then it melts in the spring and it fills up the rivers and streams and it runs down into Phoenix down into the desert well we didn't get much snow in Flagstaff this year a little bit uh -huh. You guys can rent just about anything here. Mountain bikes, motorcycles, ATVs. Well, that would Jeans. be fun. Uh, horses. Where do you rent the ATVs at? There's a couple of different places. Probably the ones with the newer vehicles is called Sedona ATV. Okay. I wouldn't bring my Grand Cherokee up here. No. Yeah, I'd be tearing no. up. Unless it's the last ride before you trade it in. <laughs> That's a good idea. One last ride. You guys are looking down at West Sedona. Yeah, that's beautiful. Um, the Verde Valley. It means Green Valley. You're supposed to say Verde. Nobody says it there. You say Verde Valley. Out in the Mingus Mountains is the town of Jerome. Jerome was a copper mining town. You guys can go up there. It's neat. Uh, some people believe it's haunted. You can do ghost tours at night. Uh, or you can just, you know, maybe see some spirits traveling around. Uh, the haunted hamburgers up there. The Asylum Restaurant. It's a great view from up there. About maybe 40 minutes from uptown. Wait, where do people think it's haunted? Here we go, guys. Oh my oh. goodness. The oh wind. No, wait a minute. Oh, oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> you are going to have to be kidding. No, oh, I'm not kidding. Up on this rock? Hang on. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. This is it, guys. Oh, my God. You gonna go over that? That's a speed bump, guys. Is that what that is? A <laughs> speed, speed bump. Speed.
following Route 66 towards Hoover Dam in Las Vegas, Grand Canyon Caverns. Just something that we drove by, we went in, we took the tour. Uh, very unusual, this is a dry cavern. You take an elevator deep down in into the cavern and a lot of strange stuff down there. As you can see, they built a room down here. It's got lights and a generator. There is food and water uh, in storage, almost set up like a bunker. I think you can actually arrange to spend the night there. Anyway, interesting place to check out.